Ooh, hi. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Ooh, I know y'all clicked on this message fast. I know y'all clicked on this video quick. Why lie? I'm gonna wait for a few more people to come into the chat so we can discuss why lie. Why lie? Why lie? Why lie? Hey, y'all. Now, this is not gonna be for the holy rollers. This is not going to be for them people with the morals who fear whatever, karma, whatever. This is going to be for the realists and the people that's trying to get this bag. Okay? I'm going to tell y'all why we lie. So y'all can understand once and for all. Hey, how y'all doing? <sighs> okay. Okay, so let's start. We got new, we got enough people in here to start. Why lie? Because that's the only way to get ahead in this world. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about it again. So uh, people keep asking me, why do you lie? Why do we have to lie? Because that's the only way you get what you want. Okay. <laughs> and if you think about this for one second, if you're lying for a good reason. It's just called strategy, okay? If you're lying for a good reason, it's just called strategy. It's just like playing cards. If you play cards, you lying because you're not showing people your hand, right? It's just like not showing people your hand and bluffing. That's all it is. If you play cards and you go to Vegas, you got them cards out, you be playing cards, you lying too. You put on makeup, you lying. That's not your eyebrows. You drive a car you can't afford. You lying. Okay? So everybody lies. Everyone, thank you, Inner Gold. Everybody lies. You wear shoes that cost more. Then your, uh, if you wear shoes that are more than your paycheck, you lie. So everybody lies. Thank you, Intercold Sprinkle Sprinkle. Everybody lies. But who's lying and getting ahead? Who's lying for the right reason to improve their lives? Because you're going to lie whether you're broke or rich. You're going to lie whether you're ugly or cute. Thank you, Jessica Hicks. Sprinkle Sprinkle offering. Oh, thank you. You're going to lie whether you happy or sad you gonna lie what is the lie gonna result in is it gonna result in a better life and an improved version of yourself is it gonna result in meeting your goals or is this gonna get you in more trouble and deeper and deeper into a hole so it's not really the lie it's what are you doing with the lie are you benefiting from it? Are you helping other people with it? Are you helping your future offspring with these lives? Are you representing a better lifestyle and environment with these lives? Or are you lying for no reason and going backwards? So if you're going to lie, lie for the right reason. Okay? Get you some um, goals and figure out how to meet them. By any means necessary. Okay. You said she was lying about her marriage. Yep, I'm not even married, y'all. I just James, my daddy. Y'all, y'all figured it out. <laughs> my sugar daddy. <laughs> um, that gave me a ring and put his name on a marriage license. Um, anyway. <laughs> Here go the trolls with nothing else to do. Ooh, I'm not even gonna get on them today, you know. Bless them for not having a life. Uh, so we got a lot to get what we need in this world. Sometimes we be telling the truth. Sometimes we be lying. But will you ever know? Who, who cares? It don't matter. That's the beauty of a lie because you'll never know when someone's telling the truth. <laughs> Liana, here you go, Liana. Here come Liana. Over being honest with men, sprinkles, but girl, your name lie on. You're supposed to be lying. 
Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> so, you know, just like Donald Trump, y'all know if he lying or telling the truth because he lies so much. I told y'all long ago, truth sandwich. You mix a lie with the truth. Now, listen very carefully. If Donald Trump got all that money, made it to president, ain't going to jail, crazy, can say whatever he want, and he just keep lying and lying and lying, what does that tell you? <laughs> if Carly can, you know, sneak away from her drive through window to come and watch my video because she clicks on alerts, you know, and risk being fired from her minimum wage job to come and talk trash. You know, what's she going to tell her boss when her boss asks why you didn't take them orders? You know, she going to lie. So we all got to lie. Okay. We all have to lie to get what we want in this world. And she going to make some truth with some facts. She goes, I got an alert. It was an emergency, something very important. That's me. I'm very important to her. So, she ain't lying, but she lying, you see, to keep her little job because y'all know Christmas is coming around the corner. And the fire department don't hand out video games, so she got to make that on her own. Thank you, Canary. Sure, I missed you live the other channel. Thank you. I will. I've already seen that video. It's so, I, I watch it again, though. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Canary. Um... <laughs> so, you know, we we will never know. We will never know. We will never know half the stuff unless someone has cameras everywhere. We will never know what's the truth. We will never know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, if we figure out how to get ahead, and it's working, and no one is getting hurt, I don't see the point in stopping, okay? Just like when you go out on a date, you don't tell a man everything. You let him figure it out or live in ignorance. As long as you get what you want out of the situation, you are good, you know? Um, right. People, people in here talk about Everybody and their mama. But you know what? Let them talk because that's all they got is words. They ain't got no job, no real job, no real money. They sitting up here worried about everybody else's life, jobs, and monies. Get you one so you can worry about yourself. <laughs> okay, we. they say ignorant people talk about other people. Smart people talk about, you know, what's going on in the world. Intelligent people, they talk very little. They observe and get information to scam you later. <laughs> okay, that's why I tell y'all to shh. Because people that have no brain cells, that can't even take the order in the drive through correctly, on the verge of getting fired from their fast food job on a weekly basis, struggle in this world. You know? And <laughs> we got to understand that not everybody is on the same level. Not everybody is going to be on the same level, okay? What people feel the need that they have to say because they're not in the position that they want to be in in life is because they're not putting that energy towards getting in that position. They're putting it towards someone who's already in that position, giving them more energy than and um, recognition than themselves. So if y'all can just stop for one second and put a mirror up to y'all face, trolls, and see that you're going nowhere fast and only promoting other people, you will understand why you can't get promoted at McDonald's. You will understand why you still can't even get hired at Taco Bell. You will understand that. You will understand why your um, application keeps getting denied when you're trying to move up in the world because you ain't, you're not paying attention to yourself. You worried about us over here instead of how to pass your personality exam on at Walmart um application for these holidays. You gotta lie. Okay. Thank you, Kilt. I'm a man and I think the things that men and women can benefit from facts. Thank you, girl. I mean thank you guy. Sprinkle sprinkle. I, I was trying to say your name but it passed too fast. Hold on. 
<laughs> Kilp, thank you. So, got a lot of personality tests if you want to move up in the world. Because y'all know I failed all my personality tests. That's why I can't work for nobody. Um, when I was a teenager, I was trying to work at Walmart for real. And I took that personality test and failed. Sorry, you failed the personality test. I know. Let me tell y'all why I, why I failed it. Because I told the truth. So, you got to lie on it. You got to tell them what they want to hear. I was trying to be honest in the wrong place. They want you to lie. They would not give you a personality test with multiple choice if they did not want you to lie. Okay? <laughs> Think about it for two seconds. They wouldn't give you a choice if they wanted you to lie. I mean, if they wanted you to tell the truth. So, anyway. Men want you to lie to them too. They don't want they don't want to know everything about you. They want to know the fantasy version of you. Thank you, laugh with Latrice Sprinkle Sprinkle. They want to hear that you're perfect. They don't want to know what you really think, how what you're doing at work and ABC. They don't care. They want to hear the lie. Because it makes them happy. Okay. Um <laughs> You knew you was too good for retail jobs, right? And, and y'all, this the wrong channel to come on here and bash me for, look, I'm going to talk about my McDonald's. I'm going to talk about Taco Bell workers, even though I love Taco Bell and I love their drive through They always get them orders wrong. But look, there are two types of people in this world. <laughs> Which one you want to be? Okay, Don't be defending something you don't want to stay at. You might work at Taco Bell right now. You might work at McDonald's. Don't defend them because you're going to stay stuck right there because you're going to be representing that energy. You need to be trying to figure out how to get up out of there. Unless you own Taco Bell or own a McDonald's, don't rip. Okay? Do not rip. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you so much for what y'all do. Lie. Shoot. Somebody asked you where you work and you work at Taco Bell? My daddy owned Taco Bell. So, thank you, Michaela Pink. <laughs> Sprinkle, sprinkle, since I'm stealing, let me share the loot. Oh, girl, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, broke people think people steal is called business. Y'all, people with children's minds think business is called, is called scamming. Layla thought because I raised the prices on, you know, wholesale items that I was ripping people off. When children... Try to learn business. You have to explain things to them step by step. I told Layla that the big giant retail stores do the exact same thing. Layla, it's not called scamming. It's called cost of business. But little brains that don't know any better, they're going to think something is this until someone with a bigger brain explains it to them. So that's what we're doing. When you see people making a lot of money and not having a boss, it's called entrepreneurship and business. If you your brain is too small to fathom that because you only work at Taco Bell, I'm explaining it to you. Okay? So, now that we've gotten that out of the way to the trolls, sorry your mother didn't teach you that because she was too busy working at McDonald's. Sorry your daddy didn't teach you that because he was like, gone to the milk store and never returned. I am so sorry, but y'all need to get it together. Y'all are too old to be acting like a dumb idiot. Okay? Go do, Google is free, baby. You can steal Wi-Fi from it. Taco Bell got Wi-Fi. Go ahead and get, log on in. Okay. Layla is my daughter in junior high school. And she asked that question in elementary. Now she will be starting her business next year because she's smart enough to ask questions. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Into who? Thank you, Divine Goddess. Love you so much. You have changed my life ever since I've leveled up. I get more respect everywhere. Still trying for a man of means. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It's coming, girl. It's, it's coming. Keep on the path. All right. So now 
that thank you Michaela for sharing the wealth of your business yeah yeah <laughs> I appreciate that um the milk store that's what Layla says your daddy went to the milk store and never came back she she you know she saw it online somewhere into who Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop and figure out how y'all can get some money instead of trying to be mad at everybody else for getting their money. Okay? I got mine. She got hers. Where's yours? Okay? Don't look over here. Look in your bank account, in your wallet, in your pockets. If they empty, figure out how to fill them. Okay? Point blank, period. That's it. Stop worrying about what's in my wallet, in her wallet. Worry about what's in his wallet so you can put it in your wallet. Okay? If you was busy doing that, you wouldn't be on here crying. Also, you know, <laughs> we also have to lie because men don't want to know everything about your past. Okay? They don't want to know that either. You're going to ruin everything that they see, feel about you. Okay? How to get out of signing a prenup? Girl, sign a thing drunk on prescription medication. It'll be null and void and have documentation of your prescription filled at that time when you signed it. And you, it's no void. All right. Shira, where is the marriage certificate? The same place your college degree is, baby. Uh, actually, I do have a video showing my marriage certificate if you scroll back a long time ago. For other trolls who didn't think I'm married. If I ain't married, believe me, I, I'm married. Believe. <laughs> Just believe. That's common information you can look up online. Okay. You can get that online for free. <clears throat> all right. Talk about you. First of all, you got to have a marriage license to get a house. We got a house. I'm on the deed. Got to have a marriage license for that. Number one. If you didn't know because you don't have a house or a husband, now you know. So you want your name on the deed, ladies. And y'all are buying and purchasing a house together without you having to put any money down. They need to know why are you on the deed? Duh, because I'm his wife. Okay. Why are you on the deed? Because I'm the wife. <laughs> Where's the marriage license? Here it is. So if y'all know anything about that, y'all can figure that out. But I told y'all, some people don't get past a certain level of knowing anything. You know, they don't have a lot of information on things because their, their life consists of going to Taco Bell, working day shift, going home, doing whatever they do sleeping with they dusty for free and re redoing the whole day over the next day. That's all that they do. They don't, they don't learn anything. They don't improve themselves. So they want to be mad at everybody else who is where they can't be. Get there first and you won't have to complain about it. Okay. And then maybe, um, then maybe you and other people can live the life that you are so, you know, uh, obsessed with with other people. Um, that's true. Yeah. A man just gave you three thousand dollars. Ooh, congratulations! You know, I, I did a consultation with a lady two weeks ago and told her how to get her man to buy her a brand new car. She sent me. I ain't gonna show y'all her name, but she sent me. picture of her new car and a man signing for it. He bought it. Then he both signed the papers. And look. Oh shoot. I'm gonna show y'all the car. Oops. <laughs> y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that. Sorry, y'all. I'm, try I'm trying to show her stuff. I just click on the picture. That's a new car. After 
two consultations, maybe one, shoot. So one or two, maybe one. See, look, her consultation was October 28th. She got the car Saturday. Okay, sorry y'all, put her name out there. Okay, I know how to get this done. Okay, if I had to, by lying. Everything I told her to do was lie. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. She told about 17 lies and got her a new car. How you doing? Okay. And then you got to be smart so you know which lies to tell in order to get to the prize. The prize was the car. I gave her a couple of lies. And she got a car. Okay. <laughs> You're going to be driving around telling the truth and your car going to be rattling. Or you can tell about 17 lies and have you a brand new nice car. Which one you want to do? Um, so I am full of lies. I never said I never said that I, I, I teach y'all to lie. That's why I'm here. I'm to teach y'all how to get to the back. Because every time a man opened his mouth, he lied to. Why you got to be the good one? Okay? Why you got to be the morally high do-gooder and you don't get nothing for it? I'm going to lie until there ain't no more lies to tell. I'm going to lie, 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 lie until there ain't no more lies to tell to get what I want. Now, on here, I'm trying to help y'all by telling y'all how to get to what you're trying to do. I don't have to lie about my lifestyle. I can sit up here. And do whatever I need to do. I never said I was a billionaire or a millionaire. I'm just telling y'all how I got what I got and teaching y'all how to get what y'all can get. That's it. Thank you, Sam. I recently met someone. He has been supporting me financially. I mentioned surgery. He said he would discuss it in person. What does that mean? That means come and meet me in the bathroom stall and show me why you deserve to have it all up. Kanye West. That means what you gonna do. Thank you, Bliss. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for being on today with my favorite color. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. This is your favorite color. Oh. I was trying to look cute for y'all today. <laughs> anyway, I do have to go. I just popped on real quick um, and want to uh, share a few words. Thank you for everybody who donated. If y'all are new, hit that subscribe button. Y'all know y'all gonna need my videos uh, sooner or later. Y'all might when you go ahead and hit that subscribe. Um, y'all got teenagers that need some cars. You know, figure out how to get figure out how to get from A to Z. What situations you need to set up, how you gotta act. Which you sometimes you gotta risk it all to get it all too, you know. So you gotta be smart. Oh, magnetic lashes are on the way, baby. They'll be up soon. Give me like, they'll be up in the month of November, baby. I might have a few still left that I could uh, put on, put up there. I, I might do that. Thank y'all. Buy him a birthday present. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all know I'm cheap. And if I buy anybody anything, it's going to be from the Dollar Tree. Especially a man. It's going to be from Wish.com or the Dollar Tree. <laughs> they going to know it too, but... As women, we have to buy so many gifts. Men buy hardly any gifts. We don't have to buy stuff like that for men. Look, we got to buy for kids, cousins, nephews, uncles, aunts, nieces, grandmamas, mamas, daddies, cousins, uncles. We ain't got to buy for no man. Men don't really buy anything for people anyway. They just give them a little gift card or some cash. Or they pretend like they don't know you. You know, and think about it. Men don't really go shopping like women do. Let them spend money on you. If you want to buy them something great, go to the Dollar Tree, go on wish.com. Tell them it ain't coming till after the new year. It's on the way, something. 
Yours is in the mail. It's on the way. Oh, it got lost. And package thieves, I tell you. All right. <laughs> I got to go. I'll see y'all later. Bye.